Um, my name is Glenn Grishkoff, and this is a work of art called The Brush of China, Family Markings, and I'm here at Hancock Community College uh, working with students, brush making, and a performance that I just did today with the community of students and collaborators. For me, it's really important to perform alongside the students. It's their community, and a lot of times the students give me their energy, their input, so I was fortunate enough to work with three students today that became a part of my piece here, the family markings piece, and work in this show, this revolves around my family, uh, my father's heirlooms, his jacket in the back, it was his jacket that he wore, the necklaces that I made today were his brushes that he made, so as a brush maker, I'm very in tune to those having been his brushes that he used to make uh, with his own hands. The ink wells around the room are symbolic of watching my dad grind his own ink as a child and use his ink well to paint family markings, kanji marks, his name and poetry. The ink wells that I make out of clay are thrown with my elbow. I twist my elbow and I create this beautiful shape, this random spontaneous shape and that comes from the heart and from my my influence of my father. The the uh, pieces are wood fired, they're salt fired, they're raku fired, so I employ a lot of different various uh, firing techniques. Uh, the sumi ink I use is dark and rich in nature, it's a nice thick sooty ink. I use my own brushes here to paint and make the mark, the family figurative mark here that you see, it's a representation of my father and grandfather embodies them. The imagery at the top are, are, is derived from family heirlooms, photographs that my grandfather took. The uh, brush in the center, the porcelain blue brush, is the brush my father owned, the brush that I saw my father use as a child. I used this brush today to mark and pass out my markings during the performance. I gave uh, an honorarium to my family members stating their names on message boards and these marks of their life were made on the board and then I passed them out to the audience, to the participants and let my spirits of my ancestors go, go through and it was very interesting uh, I wanted, I'm very connected to the bird, so I wanted crow and raven sounds in the work. I was going to prepare some um, tape recordings of crows and ra ravens, but in, during the performance, the crows and ravens came. They came overhead and they made their sounds. For me, the bird is very powerful. The feather for me is one of my favorite brushes. The mark it makes, the beautiful broad strokes when it's dipped in sumi ink, is the bird's last flight, has a spirit, has an essence. The crows and ravens coming by connected with that. They, they have that bird spirit. My mask that I was wearing was a baker's hat that my dad had when he was a chef, a cook at Vandy Camps in Los Angeles. The nose part is one of his old ties, so it, it is very bird-like. Um, in, in its essence, and I was the generation that grew up with Sesame Street and Big Bird. I was thinking about that this morning. And there's that, that bird essence, that, um, that feeling of freedom in the work.